are employed. Yeah. You did get your first software engineering role. Um, what was that process like from the end? Did you say August, roughly, when you finished up the course? Yes, yes, correct. Mm -hmm. From the August until when you received your offer, um, you know, how how difficult was that process for you? And especially when it came to interviewing, um, how many places did you interview at? Did you have any notable failures or successes before you got your first offer? Yes, yes. So um, in those couple of months when I was looking for a job, I think the most difficult part was um, the, you know, the, the fact of an unknown. It's like when you're going for a technical interview, because not all of them are technical. Some of them are behavioral interviews when you're starting interviewing with a company right away. But then when you're getting to the technical part, you'll just never know what questions they ask. And it's always very stressful. So it's not interviewing itself, but it's just not knowing what kind of question to expect. And um, everything that you can do is just to practice, to be honest. There, um, there's a HackerRank website and, and LeetCode website that, well, both of those actually helped me a lot with... Um, knowing approximately which direction to go with questions and what things I need to work on. So, um, and according to my mentors as well from Springboard, they advised me to go to those uh, places as well to kind of um, try to get me up to speed with all the questions that people are currently asking or companies are currently asking. So that was the most difficult part. Now, um, I interviewed just just in general before i got a job i've interviewed with about 10 different companies and um i had about four to six interviews per company before i uh, got my offer <laughs> um it's it, a lot of work it is a lot yes but also um right now and i'm just going back to it there there are some things that the new students can do to you know not to get yourself worked up on the amount of interviews, but actually do good and be prepared before they actually come. Because um, from all the interviews, you will have a behavioral interview, you will have a technical interview when they will give you some coding problem to solve. Then uh, what I realized a lot of companies are asking for is to talk about your project as well, which is something that you don't have to do on, spot, on the spot because they will let you know in advance that they want you to talk about the project. And it will be something that you already have done, um, for example, from Springboard, right? So this kind of presentation can be done beforehand and, uh, you know, you don't have to worry about it in terms of the interview and when, when the interview comes. So um, my advice for new students is to definitely prepare after the graduation, is to definitely prepare the project um, with, you know, with some kind of a presentation to talk about it.